So episode one was all about rushing our little granny legs down to the ruins to get the best possible weapon we could as soon as possible. Which we did! Episode 2 was all about using said weapon to absolutely whip Winter in the shape, which we did. And episode 3 here, well, let's just say, we're still going to be whipping everything in the shape, only we're going to make sure we do it a little safer from here on out. And how are we going to do that, you ask? Well, with Knight Armor, everybody. One of the best armors in the game. It's up there with Marble, of course, and it doesn't even slow you down, which is great. But the reason you've never really seen me use it is because it drains our sanity when we wear it and when we get hit. But here's the thing about Wanda. She negates one of those things, so it might just be the best armor possible for her. And that's exactly what we want to find out. So we're going to have a little bit of a downtime because of all that, everybody, as we need to pick all the papyrus in the bloody world. But we will be going after Dragonfly, we will be doing some Miskis, we will be killing some Moslings, all in due time. Oh, why, uh, hello, Mama Moose, sleeping Mama Moose. I kind of forgot that, yeah, this is like the Moose Goose set piece that has... A ton of them, but it looks like only one spawned over here? Yeah, only one. Hmm, that's a shame. That's a big shame for you. You could have done with all the help in the world. Oh, no, no. Here's more mamas. Wow, you guys hatched very, very early. No, seriously, I was just going on about how I was going to have some downtime to do things. <laughs> but no, 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 she's already here. Gone it, gone it, gone it. All right, let's be careful. Let's be careful. I am granny style right now. These guys are going down with only two hits, though, so it should be easy peasy. Oh yeah, and why am I here, you're probably wondering. Well, because I'm just going after a clear around Dragonfly, so these guys don't give me any grief when we actually decide to do her fight. Yes, yes, yes. I also want to see, we got ourselves a uh, road, a decent road, and it looks like we have a road that goes right into our arena, which is beautiful. Yep, I think we'll be good, folks. I think we'll be able to kite her well with speed, or, you know, we're going to try this backstep watch, but if things go south very quickly, then we're just going to revert back to how we know how to kite her. But yeah, 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 we're going to need a lot of rocks. Oh, and you know, this rain kind of reminds me. It's unfortunate that we didn't get the suspicious boulder yet, as I was really hoping that Dragonfly would be the boss that we can showcase just how ridiculous Granny Wanda can get with some spices and wetness and all that because it was spring. It was going to work out that way, but no doesn't look like it's not yet anyway and yeah yeah i know i have all this cut stone already here because of all the hammering on the pig houses but i want to save that for any of the pig farming we might be doing but yes yes yes, yes. okay let's get this papyrus up and rolling sometimes i forget that granny wanda uh crafts things slower than everybody let's get some armors then we're gonna unfortunately have to farm some nightmare fuel again but that's kind of easy just eat some green mushrooms over and over and over again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then we'll probably take care of Moose Goose. Then we'll set up Dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Everything is coming together rather quickly. And here we go with part number one of all that. Knight armor. And I definitely did not need all of that. <laughs> No, 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 no. I mean, look at this, everybody. 95% protection. Yeah, sure, the durability is bad, but that's not the point. 95% protection. I can wear it without losing sanity. That's the bigger point. Yeah, it's going to be good stuff. Oh, I did just remind myself. Didn't I break down a couple of these to make one of these last time? Right. So before we do the dragonfly fights... It might be a wise idea to get some more Thulsite Fragments for a couple more of these. Oh, I both like this timing and dislike this timing. Uh, Hound Wave, everybody. A Hound Wave. I mean, it's good that it's not coming when I'm in the middle of a fight with any of these big bads. Then again, I don't know if it's going to come during a fight with a big bad. <laughs> Are you coming after me? No, you're coming after them. All right, I'm going. I was going to the caves, everybody. I'm gonna. This is gonna be like a, an all-around trip. I'm gonna try to get uh, night refuel while I'm down there. I'm gonna try. Ow! I'm gonna try to get, uh, of course, dual sites and all that. And then when we come back up here, then it's just gonna be ending the day with a little mini flying boss rush. We'll take care of some miskis. Then we'll go to Dragonfly because her thing's already set up. The walls over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First things first, let's make sure we got ageless watches on our side in case something goes horribly wrong. 
Oh, and I love you more each and every day, Hutch. Not only do you have all this from our little mini ruins rush, you also have shown me the way to a green mush tree forest. Literally like the perfect thing for us right now. So I can just constantly get my sanity down, constantly get nightmare fuel. Yeah, Wanda is like a living, breathing, walking nightmare fuel farm, by the way. I mean, seriously, it's kind of ridiculous. All Granny has to do is just kind of stand there and hold F. <laughs> She holds F and like everything dies. Everything dies before it's too late. Unless of course you let that happen and you attack the wrong freaking one. Then that happens of course. But just like that everybody. Working our way towards another stack of nightmare fuel. Just like that. Of course every single time you want to go to the ruins for a quick trip. There is a nightmare cycle in the way that makes you freaking wait. Of course, of course. Also, there's a tepworm trying to fight a Slurtle right now. Doesn't look like it's winning, to be honest. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm just kind of eager to get to these fights, but let's remember. Eagerness is gonna get Granny killed one of these days. Now, we don't need much, and I really should not push my luck, everybody, because we got these things to freaking worry about, as always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not pick up what I do not want you to pick up, you dumb, stupid monkeys. Seriously, you want to get stuff done when it comes to Wanda's timepieces? Screw actually rushing the ruins proper. Just go into a village biome and hammer the walls. I got 40 Thulsi fragments coming on back home, everybody. Oh my. Okay. Let's make these uh, ageless watches and end the day with a couple boss fights. And thank you, Green Shrooms, too. Because of you, we're also walking out of here with a lot of nightmare fuel. Absolutely plenty. But hold up, let's make sure I don't forget the actual survival aspect of this game again. So let me just grab some ice before it gets way too late in the spring. Because by the time we're done with a couple miskis and of course Dragonfly, it's probably gonna be too close to summer to get any of this. Yeah, let's not miss out. But we're off, folks, and first on the list, Moose Goose and her demon spawns. Hello, Mama Goose, how you doing today? How you doing? Boom, boom. I gotta be a little careful because I'm not entirely sure how many hits I can get in. Okay, looks like I can get three, and then I can do that. All right, so it's kind of the same kiting pattern. Kind of the same kiting pattern. Then make sure you hold space bar when she's doing that. So you can catch your thing midair. Oh, that might hurt. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. It feels so good walking around with armor that's gonna protect me for 95% protection and it doesn't slow you down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Past couple playthroughs, Marble. Marble's been absolutely phenomenal, right? And it still is. But yeah, being able to synergize Wanda's love for shadow magic and all that stuff with this is awesome. Also, being able to get this close to them. Oh my goodness, Wanda. I just love Wanda the more I play her, I'm not gonna lie. And just like that, everybody, we got them down. All of them down. <laughs> so fast. Oh, so flippin' fast. And down goes Mama Goose, number two. Beautiful. And in keeping with the rules of three, Miskis, number three herself. Absolutely glorious, everybody. You just shocked yourself, you sons of guns. That is probably good for now, everybody. Three Miskis down? Yeah, more than enough. Oh, this is kind of funny. <laughs> Unintentional, but uh, they got themselves stuck over a gap that they can't get me, but I can get them. Absolutely glorious. But now the fun begins. And folks, I'm gonna do exactly what I've been doing this whole bloody time, walking the wrong way. <laughs> No, not that, even though I do that in every playthrough. I'm just gonna get myself insane again. Just get uh, just another 10 Nightmare Fuel. I actually don't know how much Nightmare Fuel I'm gonna need for in this fight, but if I have a full stack, I'm just gonna be feeling a little better. But we'll end the day by bringing down the Dragonfly, or at least we hope so, because any misplays with this backstep watch, and we're gonna be in trouble. But all right, Dragonfly. Let's see how this is gonna go down, folks. Probably gonna wait till the morning, though. Probably gonna wait till the morning, just on the off chance anything really goes wrong and I forget about light, this, that, the other. Just I want a clean fight. I want a clean fight mostly because I want to see how this thing's gonna perform. This is my concern. I don't think she's gonna be that tough. I think we'll probably be able to stun lock her even too. But yeah, it's the backstep watch that I kind of want to see to its potential. Full potential. So yeah, let's just chill. But without further ado, the dragonfly, everybody. Now I completely missed that first one. Great job, mate. <laughs> okay, 
that's the thing about this backstep watch, everyone. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta get that timing for sure. Also, I think I've noticed about it. Uh, bosses tend to lose interest. Yeah, that's not something I would actually like them to do. It's all right. It's all right. It's working though. It's definitely working as a kite. Oh, unless I don't actually hit it properly. It is working as a kite and alternative for sure. And here she comes again. Do some of that. Beautiful, everyone. Beautiful. And then since uh, I had some time, I just walked backwards. And then I can just do this the whole time. Okay, okay. I can see the potential. I can see the potential. I just got to make sure I plan it right. One, two, three, four, five. Do a little back. One, two, three, four, five. Do a little back. Okay, okay. In fact, this is going very smoothly. Like, if you practiced, I bet you you can do this no-hit backstab watch style. Like, this is what I would do, everybody. I got time. She's spawning, so I just walk back. And then I set some spawns, and then I just wait for her. I just wait for her right here for her to come back and then just come, keep going backwards. Ooh, I'm liking this. Like I said, this playthrough was always meant to explore Wanda and find out what makes her tick and what works, yada, yada, yada. And this is our first real, real good look about this backstab watch nonsense. Ah, but see, this is the problem. Sometimes, oh frick, sometimes, of course, she uh, and other bosses and such lose interest. Yeah, I've noticed that. They lose interest sometimes and it messes up the kiting pattern. Hmm, so it's not entirely foolproof. Also, you like how I almost missed that enrage phase because I was just too focused on the backstep watch? Yeah, that's what you gotta be careful about, everybody. That's what you gotta be careful about. But this is, um, this is going swimmingly, if you couldn't see that for yourself. And finally, we actually stunned her. It took a while, but we finally did it. So look at all this free freaking damage. Oh my gosh, it's insane. Guys, it's a great method. It's an absolutely great method. Again, once if you take the time between her uh, spawning phases to just run down, make a little path for yourself, they can just always have a path to jump back to, of course, a step to go back to. It's great. It's absolutely great. It works absolute wonders. But yeah, it, it's not perfect. There are times where she just loses aggro, and then that's a problem. Got to gain her aggro again. By the way, where the heck is she? There she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timing. You got to get the timing right a little bit. It's about the same. It's about the same as what you would do a normal kite. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then do it. Yeah, it's, it's honestly almost identical, but it's just kind of weird. <laughs> it's a weird way to do it after all these years of just doing it manually, but it's fun. It's absolutely fun. It's unique. I like it. I enjoy it. And heck, she's going to be dying very, very soon. Oh, did you really spawn one on the outside, you son of a gun? That was the first one she was able to get. But this is the last phase. Everybody and the dragonfly is about to die. In fact, I'll just get a couple hits in there because I can. And remember when I was afraid of the nighttime, everybody? Yeah, this is exactly why. But down she goes. I was afraid she was maybe, maybe going to put us in a precarious situation right there. But down goes the dragonfly, everybody. Beautiful. Scaled furnace is ours. Her figure sketch ours. Her scale ours. Oh, interestingly enough, though, wasn't able to get a second scale. Yeah, see, this was my first dragonfly fight with Wanda. I feel like with practice, this can probably be super duper no hit smooth. And probably single-handedly get a double scale. Yeah, for sure. But folks, as we look to munch on our enemies, that's where we will call it today. Nice. Very nice. Actually, super duper nice. We have five days left until spring is done. That gives us time to kind of prepare for the upcoming season, of course. And we can uh, have some fun with some of these rewards next time. Remind me, everybody, green gems. The fact that we only got one scale means we should probably do a cheeky little duplication here and there. So yeah, before uh, I start making anything with this scale, remind me, everybody, duplicate the freaking scale. But thanks for watching. My gosh, Wanda is freaking insane. <laughs> and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.